Yeah, g'day scrappers. Uh, today uh, I was going to talk about uh, scrapping out um, modems, routers, switch boxes, firewalls, all that kind of thing. Um, they uh, obviously they all do slightly different things, but they're all pretty much uh, in the similar category. Whereas you know they've all got sort of uh, telecom kind of boards, although not not all of them are considered telecom grade boards um, obviously like modems and stuff they they're basically either mid-grade or high grade but um, you know sometimes you can get telecom grade boards in um, these uh, these switches and stuff um, and uh, obviously these are really good good value when you can find them and I've got a whole whole heap of different different types got Cisco system um, the very common Netgear um, switches that you find, uh, yeah, sort of all kinds of different different switches, and um, and obviously some modems. Um, again, modems come in all shapes and sizes. You can uh, pretty much you can do like 20 modems in a row and still not do the same one twice because uh, there's just thousands and thousands of different uh, variations and models and brands and ages so uh, so you know even older ones uh, 56k modems and uh, another kind of 50 the US robotics one uh, 56k modem so all, all different types of things that I sort of put in the same kind of, you know, similar kind of category. Um, you know, some things are, um, you know, very oddball, specialised things. Other things are, you know, a lot common. Um, like these Netgear modems, you, um, I pick up a lot of these. These are very common. And, uh, but all kinds of... Uh, different kind of modems and uh, you know most of them are all very good for uh, gold recovery anyway you know um, even just the uh, connection pins at the back um, as a start they're uh, you know usually very good high quality gold plating so um, and then if the boards are good quality then that's a bonus like these Cisco's um, these Cisco's are probably my, my favorite um, things out of all of these uh, you got 800 series uh, the 1600 series which is my my favorite this is uh, got the best boards in there I reckon and you also got 1700 series Cisco's um, uh, not as good as the 1600s but yeah I just wanted to give you a have a little look at all the different types of uh, modems uh, and uh, firewalls and network switches and uh, all kinds of things even oddball things that kind of uh, not necessarily uh, you know the same kind of thing but very a little bit similar like this is a life-size um, box it's uh, it's basically uh, the central part of um, video communications you know so they connect up uh, speakers and microphones and video cameras and and they it's basically like a conferencing system um, so sort of similar similar sort of category because um, yeah as I said you get so many different oddball things as well like this um, this thing here is a short tail um, you know it's it's got land ports and you know different types of ports so again um, um, it kind of I just throw it all into the same sort of category um, and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is uh, crack into a, a lot of these uh, to save time save you watching me having to bust open everything also these ones here the, the uh, these are um, dialogic dialogic corporation anything dialogic is usually very high grade um, really good um, telecom kind of boards um, but obviously th these switch boxes are uh, the best um, you know I sometimes I sell these switch boxes especially if they're um, yeah sometimes they they can be really um, really good switch boxes um, 
but I look them up and uh, it tells me pretty quickly whether they work or whether they uh, sell well or not but uh, most of these I get them because they're they're basically broken you know like uh, that's one thing to look for is uh, when it's got the gigabyte the gigabit switch you know they, they seem to be uh, a, a little bit more popular with this gigabit switch but again yeah and this one's a Cisco as well so it's you know Cisco is about you know it's, it's a pretty good or it's a very good brand model so um, that's uh, they're always going to have Cisco's usually always have good size boards and good quality stuff on it for gold recovery so anyway yeah so um, I'll open them all up and we'll have a quick look at uh, what's what kind of boards we get out of each you know out of most of them anyway and uh, we'll go through them pretty quickly if I can okay so I've opened up a whole bunch of these modems and switches and firewalls and stuff so um, that's saved me a lot of time a lot of video time anyway so yeah I'll, I'll just go through them now and and just give you a little idea on you know all the different things that we get out of them um, obviously these small modems we're not going to get a great deal out of um, uh, only a small board and usually they're only mid-grade board but uh, you know I'll, I'll open these modems up and then I'll get to the uh, switches and some of the larger stuff but, uh, so basically you end up with a lot of plastic with these stuff but uh, that's the board uh, blank one side so we do have a um, gold corner chip so technically it's a it's a high grade board you know maybe if you took off this uh, large capacitor just to make it look a little bit better but um, yeah so we got the good chip we've got a couple of crystals and a couple of IC chips so you know with these um, I pr much prefer to depopulate and get everything for gold recovery rather than um, selling them as as you know even as a high grade board because it's only a very small board anyway and you know you've got your little plugs and pins and stuff in here that you know um, what what gold pins are in there are actually you know very high grade gold pins so um, you know you do get good gold recovery value out of it so that's that one uh, this one's a, the Belkin little modem um, okay so in this case we've got no high grade chip so so it's just a it's just a mid-grade board um, you know it's just some uh, IC chips and a crystal uh, these are just like transformers they're not IC chips so uh, they've just got copper copper um, and ferrite inside um, but again here we've got eight pins so we've got some good gold recovery in, in these pins as well so I'll, I depopulate this I'll just I'll remove this pin section and uh, the couple IC chips and the crystal and the rest I'll sell as a depopulated board uh, another one this little tiny Dynalink uh, same deal it's just a mid-grade board it's just a few little IC chips um, and uh, not not a great great deal uh, it seems to be like there's a crystal seems to be at least one on every modem board um, but we do have three pins uh, three plugs here for the pins so again I'll depopulate remove these three remove the three IC chips uh, there's some little MLCC's here I might take off and um, and the rest I'll just throw as uh, as a depopulated board um, what's this one? A uh, netcom. Okay, so uh, yeah, again, mid-grade board. So you can expect mid-grade board for all your uh, your small ones, um, but um, we've got a a prom here that we can remove from the socket, and some IC chips, and then again the rest. We've got some gold pins in here, maybe in here, and the rest is depopulated board. Uh, this one here was the um, US Robotics, the old 56K modem. So we've got some nice clean plastic at least to uh, send off to recycling. And um, on here, 
again it's just regular IC chips and um, but still pretty good to depopulate like these IC chips um, they will be uh, good quality IC chips don't worry about that you know so there will be good you know gold bonding wires inside these so we do want to get to them even the little ones um, the crystal got some quite larger um, MLCCs here and um, even a little tantalum capacitor, a little yellow one there, resistor underneath it, and some pins in in these little switches. You got uh, usually got there's either silver or gold. Sometimes they can have really nice gold, but uh, other times if there's no gold, it's uh, it'll be silver. So not a bad one. Uh, the billion router. So it's a like a tiny little router just fits in my hand so we've got some uh, aluminium heat sticks on top of the IC chips that I'll take off um, and just as so as extruded aluminium and uh, yeah so we've got a few IC chips no high grades we've got one of those gold little gold fuses here so that's a bit of extra gold there and the pins and uh, one of the upright crystal uh, crystals crystal resonators um, yeah so not bad uh, got this uh, virgin broadband uh, thingy the, um, looks pretty interesting So we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of gold plating on that ribbon there, and uh, yeah, it's uh, not bad. It's got very large uh, MLCCs. They're a little bit flat, but they're quite broad. And um, yeah, there's some nice chunky MLCCs there. Um, we're going to have some IC chips under here okay so in this case this is actually a high grade board because we've got the gold corner chip here so this whole board can go as a high grade if you wanted to sell it but yeah I, I wouldn't be selling it obviously I'll take all these chips off I'll depopulate the board because we've got a lot of MLCC's we, we want um, and the other side, well, I'll get to that. Um, over here, we've got a couple of pins, and uh, here is um, obviously the uh, a SIM card. So we can throw that in with our SIM cards. So uh, it's, uh, it's got some, not a bad bit of gold on it. Obviously, you're going to have some gold pins inside here where the SIM card goes in. So we, when we depopulate, so you can see the nice nice pins with gold plating gold in there and um, this little connection part here this whole thing is uh, gold plated so we want to take this off and you put these in with all your gold plated chunky bits uh, the other side if we can get this part off so we've got a little tiny little board here um, which has got quite a bit of gold plating on it, so um, so obviously we will we, we'll want to depopulate this board. It's got little fingers, you know, ni nice little gold fingers, and um, you know, a little bit of plating even here. We want to take these chips, other side, same kind of deal. <laughs> you get this little piece of aluminium. And uh, yeah, so we've got very tiny little IC chips, but if you depopulated this whole board, you might actually you know, just try and recover the whole board as a gold recovery, just throw the whole thing in. Um, another plate here. It's got a little bit of rubber. So it's mostly just MLCCs running around, uh, very, very small ones, and a bit of gold plating. So. 
if we depopulate this whole board, take off everything, we can, you know, maybe, um, you know, try and get to this this gold as well. Um, but yeah, that, that's a quite a nice one actually. Uh, try and speed it up a bit. So another just a mid-grade board, not much. But uh, as I said, like this IC chip, there'll be something pretty good in there. That there is not an IC chip, it's just like a uh, transformer, as I've said. I've got the, the common net gears. And the net gear ones look pretty good. Let's get rid of this heatsink. Yeah, so we've got a, uh, we've got a high grade um, chip here the gold corner so this board again can go as a high grade it doesn't go as a telecom board even though it's a telecom type of board this isn't what they consider telecom board it's just a regular high grade board but it's got uh, three crystals so you know and also a little gold crystal oscillator here so you know we've got good things to depopulate um, we've got the gold pins we've got this other little board here that slots in that we want to take out um, it, it's it's screwed in a bit but we get it out so we've got a nice little board here that's uh, it's going to have some IC chips under there um, got that nice little crystal oscillator uh, we've got some gold fingers so a little bonus board and um, yeah underneath there was just another IC chip and uh, even some gold pins along there so pretty good board that one uh, another 56k old style modem just get it out so yeah I'm just you know basically just trying to give you a, a, a good example of all the different types of boards that we can get out of modems just you know to uh, just to let you know to not not pass modems up um, you know they're always good value even if they're only small so we've got another prom here that we can remove got a nice big fat chip here um, and I just sort of put a little thin screwdriver in the side and just pop these out so that way I do that before I depopulate them that way I don't have to remove this because there's no gold plating inside there I don't have to remove it I can just leave it on the board and we've got a really nice you know chip that I throw in with my flat packs okay or you can even you know look these up and see if it's uh, um, you know worthwhile selling you know but um, I doubt it, you know, this stuff from IC chips, from um, modems. Um, but yeah, so this is a very, very average mid-grade board. Once we remove, you know, th that chip and we take out this prom. Right. And then there's not a lot on it, you know. Underneath the prom, there's another IC chip here. But not a great deal on it. So, um but you might still get it's a, like a, a mid to low grade board so but i'll still um i'll probably still remove some of the ic chips actually we've got some tantalum capacitors here and um you know unless they really stand out as tantalum capacitors they're most likely not going to be but uh, in this case these are tantalum capacitors and you can tell by that little that little line going across you know a lot of these ye yellow tantalum capacitors these um, epoxy dipped it's it's that little line that runs across the top there and it's like a big L it goes along and then down a little bit so that's definitely a tantalum capacitor okay and so these two are tantalum capacitors as well right but a lot of things that look like tantalum capacitors are not they, um, you know, if you learn about what tantalum capacitors look like, then you'll be able to spot them out pretty easy. So this one is just a, again, a very basic one. Just uh, standard stuff to um, remove or sell it as a mid-grade. I've uh, got this extreme. Again, another basic one. Uh, another Netgear black one. So this one here, once again, quite basic, mid-grade board. Another net gear, again, got a really nice thick chip here, but um, aside from that, it's a very basic board. So, um, 
you know, it's up to you whether you want to depopulate these boards or just sell them as mid-grade because there's quite a bit of weight. You might get, you know, pretty good value for it mid-grade um, unless you're really chasing all the chips and you want to build up as many IC chips as you can. Uh, then you might as well. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a Telstra kind of little box. Um, a little bit more involved, but still not a great deal of um, stuff. It's basically just a uh, mid-grade board again. Um, nothing really spectacular on it. We've got a, apart from this really nice crystal oscillator here. So get that out. So we've got this, that's a nice crystal oscillator to add to the collection. Okay, so in there could be, uh, will definitely be silver, but there, you know, in a lot of these, even if there's no gold plating on the outside, there can be gold inside these as well. So that's an um, average board. Um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't lose much if you didn't depopulate this board and just sold it as a mid-grade board because there's not a great deal on there. Even though the chips will be high quality, you know, there will be good gold bonding like inside this little Epsom chip, but um, still not a, not a great deal. Um, this one's an Optus modem uh, from Netgear. <coughs> it's... Um, <coughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, this one looks uh, a, a little bit better. It's got some uh, heat sinks here. So if I remove the main heat sink, it shows us a little kind of IC chip, uh, like a little CPU, but uh, only very small and nothing spectacular. Just get rid of that. Yeah, so um, just very small IC chips. There's some really nice MLCCs here. Um, there's going to be some gold plating in there. Um, you can even, that's, you know, you can just... This is even just copper, sort of, you can just sort of roll it up and throw it in with your um, burnt copper. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of gold plating or uh, some kind of IC chip in here. I won't get it out now, but um, yeah, again, not a great deal. Uh, just a, um, a Motorola, a little Motorola modem. Same deal, very plain. It's going to have something in here. Well, here we go. It's a nice, uh, nice high grade board, actually. So you can see this nice Broadcom uh, chip with the very large gold corner on the, there. Um, this is going to be a really good one. So uh, definitely depopulate this one and uh, throw the rest in depopulated boards but yeah so under here you know you have a little look under these and um, so obviously there's nothing here apart from this little crystal so we'll take the crystal and that crystal and we'll leave this on the board and I'll get rid of these IC chips um, okay some um, uh, what have we got? Some switch boxes. So we've got all these uh, switch boxes here that I've sort of gotten into. So uh, we'll have a little look. Let's see what we got. So even though it's a, you know, it's a switch, there's virtually nothing on this. You know, it's just one, a little IC chip there, main flat pack there, and a crystal. Again, these are just like transformers. They're, they're, they're nothing inside them. And, um, you know, probably the best thing is these uh, gold pins in here. So very, very basic um, um, medium grade board. Me oh, it's probably medium to low. Here we've got the Juniper network box. Okay, well, this one looks pretty good. All right, so we've got... Um, so this is obviously a caddy for a large card or something like that. Um, we've got some uh, heat sinks here. <laughs> we might, yeah. See, some a lot of cases when you take off these heat sinks, sometimes the uh, chip can actually stick to the heat sink. So sometimes they come off, other times it's impossible. Like in this case, it's very hard. It's only um, that's just the backing that's come off. So the main chip is still on there, so you know I might use a chisel and just chisel it off. 
so I won't bother trying to take off the rest but uh, yeah there's um, there's some good stuff here there's, there's some large tantalum capacitors here and here um, we've got some um, little IC chip we've got a lot of crystals one two three four uh, five so five crystals on this there's some nice um, very nice uh, MLCC's here uh, under this plate here I can get it off okay yeah, it's, it's got a couple of tiny little screws um, let's see if I can get it off quickly but uh, we've got this uh, piece of uh, gold plating on this so um, you know if you depopulate the board you have to be a bit rough on it okay so as you can see there's some nice gold plating here and there's just some sticky stuff here get that off so we've got some nice gold plating here you can um, you know you could probably cut this whole part out um, depends what you're going to do to the board but I'm going to depopulate it so I'll probably cut this whole part out and um, and throw this in with gold fingers because you can see there's you know you got gold plating all on this side and all on this side so you know it's just one big finger so after I depopulate it but um, having a looking now you know we've got a lot of little gold you know sort of where this uh, main CPU thing was uh, we've got a lot of gold plating under here and some more here and so I'll probably just depopulate this whole thing and we've got um, MLCC's all over now you know here's a pretty good example of um, MLCC's now so here uh, you can see these MLCC's are, are very brownie um, and yeah so these are all MLCC uh, and we also got black ones they're sort of like silver and black um, they have to be marked with C something you know C and a number um, these ones are C and a number so but I'm pretty sure you'll find that these ones here are class one MLCC's and these are class 2 MLCC's right if I'm wrong well then these ones are class 1 and these ones are class 2 but there's definitely different kinds of MLCC's but they both are MLCC's um, <laughs> got some nice uh, thick film resistors here uh, some nice gold plating here and yeah once you depopulate the board the whole board might be worth just trying to um, um, go for the whole you know all the gold uh, we've got a lot of uh, pins here that I'll remove and I just use the um, air hammer and it just sort of skims off that whole thing and I'll get that whole chunk out um, so we've got a little net gear uh, yeah look it's um, it's basically just a mid-grade board but um, so but in this case, I wouldn't um, sell it as a mid-grade. I'd depopulate it. We've got a lot of gold pins here. Um, we've got is uh, the um, crystal oscillator, the square ones. Well, there's one, two, three crystal oscillators on this board. Okay, so that's really good. These nice chunky square ones. Got some nice flat packs, IC chips. So we've got some stuff to depopulate off that. Uh, slightly bigger neck gear. look at what's in that <coughs> so in this one there's a little power board um, that we can just throw in with power boards a bit of wire um, so really very little on this apart from a whole heap um, there's like 24 little slots here so there's 24 sections of um, gold pins <coughs> so that's pretty good um, but apart from that not a great deal more um, so we've got these four flat packs here um, and that's about it really is the, all these are uh, the uh, transformer type of thing so they're no good so very little on this board actually just four four little uh, IC chips um, but because it's got so many of these and I like these because they've got the really good high quality pins inside so I definitely um, depopulate this and and, and most of it and throw the rest in with uh, um, 
uh, depopulated boards. That's a the billion little router. Uh, so yeah, not bad. More mid-grade, but it does have a lot of MLCCs on it and some thick film resistors. But uh, very mid-grade. Um, some good things here. You got this uh, this little jack here that's all gold plated. So that's a really good thing. Um, so yeah, definitely take these off. And on the other end, you got the little gold plated bit there. And uh, obviously we've got these ports where we're going to get some gold plated USB. Um, and under these um, heat sinks, there's also going to be some more chips. Uh, this is a, um, a long style router. Again, very similar. Might just uh, take off these heat sinks. Okay. All right, just give me a tick. Okay, so um, yeah, this one's uh, pretty good because we've got the uh, we've got two very nice gold corner chips. So um, you know, it's technically this will go as a high grade, no problem, um, because of the type of board. Because it's kind of like a telecom board, it still won't go as a telecom board like telecom grade, it'll just be a high grade board just like motherboards. So we've got the really nice chips here, we've got a, uh, another crystal oscillator in the centre, we've got a couple of these little uh, memory kind of chips in here that we take out, remember I take them out before I depopulate, so we just got a little, little chips like that, I put them with the flat packs, so I always take them out first so I can leave this part on it and you know still get value. And so we've got our ports again, we've got um, little bit of gold uh, pins in the back of these and that's it and then the rest we can just throw off um, is a uh, another link system it's a uh, just another switch switch box so most of these switch boxes and stuff have all got like little um, uh, power boards that you can deal with uh, but uh, yeah, well, shit, this one's a really good one. Uh, we've got another 24 ports here for gold. Um, you can see these two, three chips here with the gold corner chips. So three beautiful chips on this one. Um, got a couple of nice in the center and these really big um, crystal oscillators. So these crystal oscillators will definitely be um, good value to um, um, play with, throw it in your, uh, with the rest. Got another one of these uh, memory kind of chips in here, and we've got these green, um, green aluminium heat sinks. We can take off, uh, take one off to see what's underneath. Okay, so underneath we've just got regular flat pack kinds of things. But they're uh, nice and chunky ones, so they're all going to be good. So we definitely want them. Got a uh, so you got the crystal oscillators that I showed you, and there's the uh, crystal, the crystal resonator. We just call them crystals. But a really good board. So three ultra high chips on there. So definitely a high grade board. Uh, on the other side, we've got some really nice gold pins going along here, and um, across here we've got MLCCs running all through this and uh, even a little tantalum capacitor there another one there but yeah this is a beautiful board and next one is the uh, uh, this was the Dialogic um, uh, 100 port uh, 24 port with the gigabit switch that I was talking about um, <coughs> so yeah we got the 24 ports they are really nice and I'll just get so we've got a uh, pretty solid looking um, power board it's up to you what you want to do you can depopulate it and just remove the the transformers and a bit of copper or you can just sell it complete I prefer to sell it as it is um, just remove the wire and um, yeah just I prefer to just sell it as a power board I get okay money just as a power board um, the main thing we want 
here. This one's sort of on little brass mounts, so these are nice little brass things to add to your bucket. You know, you might want to keep some of these uh, as riser bloody things, you know. But um, yeah, all adds up. Okay, so here we got, um, so we've got our ports go around this side so remember that these high ones these are not IC chips they're just uh, um, um, they're like um, transformers I'll open one up just to show you if I can might have to okay Okay, so this one we can't see inside, but usually you'll see like a little copper spools, like little little bits, kind of like a little transformer. Yeah, it's just sort of like wound copper inside. It's, uh, you know, it's definitely no gold or anything like that. So you're better off just leaving them on the boards. Um, and the, when they're on these kind of boards, they're always running across the top. So they're pretty easy to spot. And, um, and they're very thick compared to most IC chips. So I'll just take off these uh, heat sinks. We'll have a look. Okay. So yeah, we've got a high grade board because even though they're very small chips, they do have the gold corner. So they are, you know, high grade chips and this makes this board high grade. Uh, it's very empty. There's a lot of empty space on this. But um, we've got some IC chips in mounts here. Um, but, you know, I've got a lot of tantalum capacitors. These little yellow tantalum capacitors. Um, they're all over it. So, you know, that's, that's a bonus. And, um, and also a, a crystal oscillator here. And um, on the other side, just a few more tantalum capacitors. And, but, yeah, so we want to get all these pins off and uh, remove the tantalum capacitors, get out these chips, and then sell the rest as a, um, as a depopulated board. Or you weigh up the options, um, you can just sell this as a high grade board, if you like, and uh, just like a motherboard, and uh, it weighs just over a pound or so, so you do the figures. For me, because, uh, <coughs> you know, I, I just prefer to get, um, to depopulate and get everything for gold recovery. Even if you don't recover the gold yourself, you can always sell the components, you know. Um, you know, you sell IC chips, you know, you sell a, you know, sell it by the pound or something, um, and you'll probably get just as good money as you would re recovering the gold. You know, you sell your flat packs, you'll probably get just as good money. Um, you know, sell your crystal oscillators, same thing. Uh, tantalum capacitors, you know, again, you'll probably get just as good money than you would, well, tantalum, you're probably not going to be able to um, recover the tantalum anyway yourself, um, you know, but, uh, I mean, inside here, this is just basically epoxy resin, and then what's, if you crush all this epoxy resin away, what you're left with is, is a little tab of, it'll be something like that, and that'll be just solid tantalum. So it's up to you what you want to do with them or sell them. Okay, so these are those Cisco. I oh, know this one's a, um, it's not a Cisco. It's uh, another brand. But it's some kind of switch. Okay, so um, yeah, again, high grade board with gold corner chip. We've got some yellow tantalum capacitors. Got some chips all over it. Some black tantalum capacitors. You can see these huge uh, MLCCs, really nice. So if you didn't depopulate with a like a um, <laughs> like an air hammer and a chisel, you could always just you know it's pretty simple. You just um, get down here, just use a flat blade, blade screwdriver, and you can just sort of pop them off. But they you know sometimes like these brown ones, they do tend to crush. But that's fine, you know, and you just um, you just do it by hand if you like, if you don't have um, any other means of depopulating. But like I said, when you use a, the screwdriver, 
they do tend to crush much more um, than when you use an air hammer because the air hammer sort of like pops them off. I don't know how it does it, but it just pops them off without really crushing them much. But yeah, um, so this is like a double board. It's got like a, a door to board on top, whatever you want to call it. If I can just get it off. One more. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, the daughter board almost looks better than the uh, actual board. So, this is um, pretty awesome, actually. Um, <clears throat> it's a really nice gold pins here. And, um, and yeah, so uh, we've got. Uh, I'll just move this camera a bit. So, we've got really nice IC chips all over it. These little ones, beautiful. Lots of gold plating. So, um, yeah, and uh, as I said, the black tantalum capacitors the MLCCs, so this is a really, even though it's technically, it would not go as a high grade, <laughs> it would just be a low grade, uh, mid grade board, because there's no, you know, gold corner chip or nothing spectacular on it, but, you know, you'd be crazy to sell this as a mid grade board, because it's just got so many chips, and I guarantee that there's going to be a lot of gold bonding wire in there, so definitely depopulated. Um, and so yeah, so we've got our high grade chip here, so we class this whole board as a high grade board. So if you left that that uh, thing on there, you would get high grade for it. But we've got um, these little uh, gold crystal oscillators, and uh, these are really nice. They've got uh, gold pin, uh, they've got like gold connecting tabs underneath. So there's quite a bit of gold on them. So there's two there, there's and we've got another one here. So. Um, that's pretty good to get three of these on a board. We've got yellow tantalum capacitors, um, black tantalum capacitors, plenty of MLCCs, and um, yes, yeah, some gold pins and more yellow tantalums and a lot of chips. So um, yeah, th this uh, not a bad board. This one. Okay, so now we can get onto these Cisco's. So we've got the six Cisco 800 series. Got the Cisco 1600 and got the Cisco 1700. So I'll start off with the 800 series. Okay, that looks all right and still um, stuck in the board, but we don't need to see underneath anyway. But um, okay, so we've got the high grade gold corner chip here. So obviously this is going to go as a high grade board. Um, in some cases, because it uh, hasn't got a lot of these aluminium capacitors and stuff, you know, you can almost get a, a, like a, a low telecom grade if there is such thing with the person that you sell it to. But um, otherwise, yeah, it's not a bad board. And um, here we've got one of these little, little RAM kind of little chips, all right? And um, I just put these in with uh, um, laptop RAM because they've got the gold finger. They look very much like RAM. They're only very light, so they don't make much difference anyway. Um, One-sided, so, so, but still, you know, or, you know, you could either put it in with your RAM or just depopulate it straight away by cutting off the little fingers. Um, either way. So we've got a little bit of gold fingers there. All right, and so we basically can process this straight off. So put this in with your gold fingers, even though it's one-sided, um, it's still gold fingers. And um, I'll depopulate this IC chip and there's a little MLCC there. I'll just run the, the air hammer over it and then just throw the rest in depopulated board. So yeah, but uh, so there will be gold pins in there, gold pins in there. So there will be, a, could be a, sometimes there's a RAM chip in there as well. But yeah, aside from that, it's, yeah, it's not a bad board. It's got a lot of IC chips that we can depopulate anyway. So that was the uh, Cisco 800 series. This one's a Cisco 837. Um, and now this is the Cisco 1600 series, which is my favorite one. And get out the plastic and <coughs> and this is kind of why they're my favorite because you can see for yourself they're um you know if you like tantalum capacitors it's like a uh, tantalum city hey eh? <laughs> you got they're very big tantalum capacitors some of them are double thickness so they're like little little office towers um 
and they're just all over it and uh, yeah so um, really really nice um, we've got uh, some really nice IC chips flat packs here we've got those little memory chips inside these little boxes there's four of them in there that I take out um, so a lot of stuff we've got this card here that um, that slides out and so yeah you can see the MLC uh, the yellow tantalum capacitors uh, a lot of little chips to remove um, some gold plating in there under there there's nothing and then on the rest of it well we've got gold plating inside here there's gold pins we can take off I take off this whole thing um, over here we've got uh, one of these smart cards four megabyte flash cards there's not a great deal in there but I bust these open and um, and just you know you get a little bit of gold plate and there's some gold fingers inside it if I can get one sort of easily open but, um, I just sort of build these up I've got a whole bucket full of these and uh, one day I'll, I'll when I've got nothing better to do I'll just I'll get into them and uh, take them all take all the boards out of them okay so this is just basically just aluminium probably you know just uh, throw it in for your aluminium if you like there's our board so blank one side got some gold pins that would take this off so very light very lightly plated gold pins and um, on this side we just take off this little cover okay so as you can see there's not a great deal there's a couple of nice uh, these are the flash IC chips they got Intel flash um, so we've got some IC chips but not a great deal um, there are uh, you know different ones and so you know depending on on you know the size of the um, the memory you know they'll add more of these so there's there's four six slots that are missing these chips so there could be if it's a full board it would be a really good value board but in this case there's only two of these chips the other ones sometimes you get four and uh, yeah I haven't seen one with eight yet all right so but um, yeah this is why I like the 1600 series uh, <laughs> sometimes I get these in nice batches and um, yeah I'm really happy when I get these uh, other side nothing but yeah really happy when I get them because uh, I like my tantalum capacitors even here you can see a thick film resistor you know this blue one look how big it is you know it's wider than my uh, my screwdriver it's a really nice thick film resistor and um, you know we've got um, crystal resonators got three there so there's a lot of stuff on this um, and so that was the 1600 series and this is the 1700 series and uh, give you a little look in that okay well the cards come out of it yeah it's a okay so it's uh, still a pretty good card actually probably even better than the um, that's the 1600 that's the 1700 uh, so this one had four tantalum capacitors this one's got uh, five tantalum capacitors plus it's got a little gold um, little crystal oscillator there the gold ones um, and it's got a huge uh, MLCC there but um, yeah very similar okay so there we go so technically it, it, it could even be better well this one had two yeah so this one had two cards in it so this one's uh, slightly different actually this card is exactly the same as the uh, 1600 card so they probably are a little bit better I've I've just become used to the 1600s as being my favorite um, but yeah as you can see there's a lot of stuff we've got a little RAM chip in here so this one's definitely RAM and uh, it's a 32 megabyte thing you know um, so yep throw that in for RAM got this little uh, card sort of like a daughter card um, yeah some really nice chips there one of those little memories some flat packs again a couple of tantalum capacitors and um, some more IC chips gold plating in there so yeah beautiful so pretty good value with um, 
with these three uh, little cards just for a start. So as you can see, these these Cisco systems. So you know the routers, obviously, but a 1700, 1600, or pretty much any number. It doesn't matter if they're Cisco. You know they're, they're good. Um, so there's the high grade chip in the center there and yeah we've got a lot of IC chips a lot of tantalum capacitors big ones medium sized small ones um, yeah a lot of really nice stuff to get off it um, so yeah I love these Cisco's all right we're almost there guys so here's a speaking of Cisco um, this is a one of those catalyst 24 um, pin um, jobs and wow so we've got our power board here get rid of that Let's see if we can get the main board out we just got to pop out these little plastic things and sort of hold it in all right the fans off okay wow so we've got our 24 ports here all with uh, gold pins and st stuff inside so they're going to be um, a bonus but uh, ch check that out that's uh, you know a pretty intensive bloody board so this kind of board here you would definitely go for telecom grade you know or um, depends on the grade your buyer had you could also class this as a server server board if they didn't have telecom grade because uh, see the gold corner chips and they're Cisco's so you only need to see that it's a Cisco chip one two three four five chips with gold corners and then the rest of the flat packs um, I see chips all over it uh, it's just got a whole heap. Remember, these are just transformers up the top, so they're no good to you, but um, everything here is uh, really high grade stuff. So, this is definitely telecom grade, um, you know, much better than motherboard grade or something like that. So, if you sell it, you're going to get pretty good value, <laughs> but you know, then again, if you depopulate it, you're going to get just as good value, if not more. Um, because you know um, it could be a high grade chip with just two of these gold corners a high grade board with just two gold corner chips so if you sell it to the buyer the buyer's got a grouse bonus because he's got five gold corner chips um, so he's going to get real value for money so you might as well just get that value for money yourself so that's a really nice board um, so this is why I really like these routers and switches you get really high end stuff uh, three to go. Uh, this is a 3Com switch. Okay, so a very similar thing. Got these um, plastic things to take off. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay. All right. It it's the shot. All right. So yeah, same deal. A lot of nice gold pins on these ports. Um, even these little uh, there's these little gold plated little tabs. They are gold plated, so you might as well take them. And there's uh, at the back. There's some. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of MLCCs really nice thick MLCCs we can take off um, over here again transformers so we've got our chips underneath heat sinks so you can see there's a gold corner regular regular gold corner so yeah this was uh, like I was saying on the last board you know um, here we got two you know nice chips with gold corners and um, on the other board we had five gold corner chips so that's a difference so when you're selling them they're still selling buying them at the same grade 
but um, you know you're giving him much better value when you've got five really good quality chips. So we've got some flat packs here, but not a great deal. So if I was going to sell any of these boards, this is the kind of board I would sell if I got telecom grade for it. Because um, you know, all I would do, I'd say, yeah, I'd sell it as telecom grade. I'll just take off these little crystal oscillators. One and this one here. Two, I'd take them add it to my collection and I'd sell them the rest and say okay you can have the rest here all right um, but otherwise if you depopulate which I'll probably end up just doing myself anyway yeah I'll, I'll just depopulate everything take off all, all this and just leave these on these are the only things will be left on and all this rubbish over this side I'll just leave all this junk on here take off a few little pins all right and the second last thing was that short hell um, box that I didn't really know and so again we've got a power board here not a great deal um, very almost empty kind of looking um, board really a few IC chips but just the only one is the chip underneath there and it's I can already see the gold corner chip so it's definitely going to be a high grade so it's definitely a high grade chip but it's only one so um, yeah nothing really spectacular on this short tail and the last thing was, uh, what's this, the life-size, this is that conferencing uh, box. Um, get it off. This is a bit more sealed. But these conferencing boxes, like if this was working, you, you know, these were selling for like over a thousand, if not more. Um, so... You, you definitely want to make sure to see if they're working or not but this one definitely wasn't working and um, not that they're really easy to sell anyway these days all right so uh, there we go well it's got a big fan in it okay well this looks okay too you can see it's a nice tan of capacitors and <coughs> this is actually strange i haven't seen this before uh, Geez, look at the size of these MLCCs. Can you see that? As wide as my screwdriver. And that's the, that's the narrow end. Um, these are huge. Um, but I haven't seen this before where you got these little daughter cards on the top. And look at the three high grade chips. These two are actually high grade chips. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get them. Oh. Had it the wrong way. Stuff that one. Oh gosh. So here we've got five, five chips. They're all got gold corners, a little bit unusual gold corners. But um, this is quite an amazing board actually. Uh, so it's a digital media processor. So they're kind of like a little CPUs. Uh, the other side. We've got a lot of tantalum capacitors here, more IC chips, and heaps of little MLCCs. Um, but yeah, that, that's a pretty amazing little board. Um, you know, I might even look this board up and see, you know, you never know. But I doubt it'll sell because it's probably very specific to um, this unit itself. Um, I'm going to have to break this off because I stuffed up the screw. Okay, have to break that corner off. But check that out. Three Broadcom um, chips with the gold corners. Three regular IC chips. Some yellow tantalum capacitors. Other side, more tantalum capacitors. Another crystal oscillator. Again. Um, but yeah, how's that? They're really, um, you know... These two, oh, this one is very solid and heavy. You can feel this is a board. <laughs> uh, this one, just too deep populated. It's just, uh, you know, very good value for gold recovery. And what do we got? Okay. Just take off this. Okay. Yes, no. Okay, so anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, it seems to be, uh, you know, like these are life-size chips, 
so it's the brand of the actual whole unit so these are probably very specific to this unit so we've got some more gold corner chips here the phillips ones but as you can see all, <coughs> um, all these tantalum capacitors running all over it all right so uh really good value there with tantalum capacitors um, some huge mlccs so very good value board um, and i can see why this sort of thing would you know normally brand new it sells for like um over, you know like over two thousand dollars or something um so yeah it's got a got a little card here if i can get it open there's another gold corner chip under there and this is a compact flash okay so it's just a, another flash card but uh like the similar to this card that i showed you but this is just a compact small slot style um some gold pins in there too but yeah not a bad board this one um i like all the little tantalum capacitors that'll add you know quite a few to the collection other side is nothing really there but uh as you can see the board is actually gold plated all all over right around so so and and there's just you might not be able to see it but the there's so many little tantalum uh, little uh MLCCs and resistors all over this so um, if you're gonna uh, you know um, go for gold recovery off this whole board so we can get all this gold from the edges and all the little dots of gold you know we'd have to depopulate it skim it you know uh, with a uh, air hammer and get all these little resistors and MLCCs off before we um, processed it for um, gold recovery which we you know, might as well do. You know, another option, if you didn't want to go for all these little dots and stuff, you could just, um, we can just uh, treat these as gold fingers, you know, by just cutting off, you know, just going along, it's only one-sided, and just going along and just cutting all this off. Oh, well, here we go, how's this? This one actually can peel it off. Well, we lost it, but I've got a whole peel of it. So, so that's underneath. It's just like uh, plasticky stuff. And there's your gold plating all on this side. So, might be able to do that and uh, scrape it off or just peel it off, and um, and then just leave the board intact. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? So there's your gold plating, so you can throw these straight in with um, your gold fingers and, um, and uh, yeah, remove that gold. All right, well, that's it. That's um, everything um, that I can think of with uh, modems, routers, switches, um, all network kind of things. Uh, so, yeah, um, hope you had fun watching me um, remove all this crap. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have a bit more fun depopulating all these boards and, and um, you know, picking out all my um, tantalum capacitors. You know, you know tantalum, tantalum isn't worth as much as it was, you know, a while ago. But it's, you know, it's one of those metals that fluctuates in price a lot, being a conflict metal. Um, but they're real fun to collect. You know, just the, the bigger the, my bucket gets, the more excited I get. I just love tantalum capacitors, especially the yellow ones. They stand out. There's no mistaking what they are. Uh, you know, they're easy to spot. So, yeah, I just love me tantalum capacitors. And, um, and so, yeah, one day I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to keep building these up till one day... I'm not in a hurry to sell these because uh, I'm just going to wait till one day they they go through the roof or something, you know, in price, you know, like um, rare earths can can do as well. All right, well, um, that's it, guys, for modems. Um, have fun, keep scrapping, and uh, I'll catch you next time um, with something else.